uh, General Jack Keane is looking at the other part of this development here concerning Elon Musk, and that would be probably this notion uh, that uh, some are looking at this as a, a reflection of his desire to see this end, uh, because European support seems to be ebbing, and at the same time, a number of Florida congressmen are saying because of the hurricane in the United States, it's a reminder we spend a lot more money helping the Ukrainians and not nearly enough helping American citizens. Florida Representative Greg Stubbe among those saying not another penny to Ukraine. Uh, we should focus on helping right now people here at home. Uh, General, that is a long and windy introduction to you. I apologize for that. But this is something you were worried about, that the appetite to help Ukraine, ironically now, when it's showing real progress against the Russians, might be the last thing Ukraine needs. What do you make of this? Yeah, well, certainly the support among the American people to continue to help Ukraine is about 66 percent, so it's pretty solid. But there are people uh, in the Congress, and some of them on uh, some of them Republicans, who have always expressed some concern about spending in terms of spending money uh, on this U on Ukraine. But you know, we we've got a six trillion dollar budget. It's actually larger than that uh, by a few hundred billion. And we're, we've invested, and I mean invested, uh, $66 billion uh, in Ukraine this year. And that's like 1.1 percent. And wh what are we getting for that investment? We have Putin, who we were dismissing for years and not taking seriously, despite Georgia in 2008, despite Syria, despite uh, <coughs> Crimea and eastern Ukraine in 20, 2014, because he's a declining power, he's got his economy's in a tank, he's a one commodity uh, economy. And we had a tendency, uh, uh, frankly, to not take him serious. And yet, all the time, he's been talking about Ukraine is a part of Russia and I'm going to make it a part of Russia. President Xi says the same thing about Taiwan, by the way. And also, and this is the important part, is that his design to bring back under the umbrella of Russia the former Soviet republics that are now in NATO, and that is largely the Baltics and particularly uh, Poland, lesser degree Romania. And we dismissed all of that. And But I, I believe Putin has never given up on that. So for $66 billion, what we're getting is Ukraine is doing the fighting. They are literally destroying the Russian army on the battlefield, which would set them back for years and deny them the ability to ever accomplish under Putin any of his ambitions in terms of taking back some of the Soviet republics. And by the way, if that happened, that would mean war with NATO and Russia. And the scale of that would be much greater than what it is right now, and the risk, certainly, of nuclear war would be much greater, it's something we have avoided all through the Cold War, a conventional war with two superpowers holding nucle strategic nuclear weapons. So for this investment, I think it's well worth it. In, in what has happened in Florida in terms of natural disasters and suffering of the American people? Give them whatever it takes financially to solve that problem. And they're going to get has it. Been to our your history, point, General, they're assuming... going to get it. And it's, it's, that's never been in doubt. I just don't know if this was an opportunity for those who were opposed to the, all the aid that we're giving Ukraine and criticizing the fact that much of Europe is not, a point that you've raised. That's one thing. Uh, but if we abandon them or cut back at this time, that could be game over right there. Oh, and where does Putin stop? after he achieves a victory in Ukraine, is my point. Right. We are not doing the fighting, and, and that's critical to what's happening here. Yes, are we funding it? But it's an investment, as far as I'm concerned, investment in the security of our future. And yes, we'll take care of, of Americans who are in harm's way we as a result do. of a storm, we for sure. Do. That's our history. Uh, that's our history, right. General, good man. I always enjoy chatting with you. General Jack Keane, uh, on these latest developments here.